Hey guys, it's Chris. From legendary cars to basic rocks in a field, join me as I show you eight cursed objects that science can't fully explain. Number eight, James Dean's Porsche 550 Spider. James Dean is arguably one of the most famous people to ever live, especially given the time period he was in and his death shocked the world. But what was more shocking to many was that the car that took his life appeared to be cursed. Dean was a big fan of cars, and he had a Porsche 356 while filming the legendary movie Rebel Without a Cause, but decided to upgrade his ride to a Porsche 550 Spider. But he didn't stop with just buying the car. He wanted to customize it from top to bottom and hired George Barris to do the customization. After getting the car, Dean would have lunch with Alec Guinness, who you might know as the original Obi-Wan Kenobi. When Dean had Guinness look at the car, well, Guinness was a little unsettled. He felt that the car had a sinister way about it and promised Dean that if he continued to drive the car, it would kill him in a week. Seven days later, Dean was killed in a horrific car accident in his Porsche 550 Spider. But that's just where the curse begins. After the wreck, George Barris bought back the car in hopes of restoring it, or at least selling off its parts. A week after doing so, the car fell off the trailer it was on and broke a man's leg. Barris then started to sell parts off the car to other people including Troy McHenry and William Eshrid. During a race in the cars that had the parts, McHenry hit a tree and died, while Esridge lost control of his car and rolled, causing him severe injuries. The curse did not stop there, though. Barris tried to get rid of the car, but Highway Patrol thought of this as a good way to show off the dangers of car accidents and convinced him to give it to some exhibits. The first exhibit failed, and the garage that housed the car mysteriously burnt down, but the car was untouched in the blaze. It was then given to a high school, where it fell off a display and hurt a student. The next three people, all truck drivers who came into contact with the car, all suffered accidents of some sort, including one falling out of the truck and then getting run over by the Porsche itself somehow. The car disappeared shortly after that and hasn't been seen since, leaving many to wonder if the curse was finally killed with its vanishing. Number 7. Crying Boy Pictures Giovanni Bragolin painted a number of pictures in the 1900s, but unlike many artists, he went for a very different kind of picture, one of crying boys. Though oddly disturbing, the painting sold very well, and tens of thousands could be found in England, which was the start of a curse that still somewhat exists to this day. As one night, a family found their house on fire. And though they did get out in time, the entire house was torched except for the painting. One incident does not beget a curse, though, until a series of fires broke out, and they all happened to have the paintings in them, all untouched by the fires. Eventually, a British tabloid called The Sun published a piece on the incidents called Blazing Curse of the Crying Boy Picture. This started a bit of a frenzy across the UK. And when more fires occurred, a legend started to grow. There were even tales of unfortunate events happening to those who tried to get rid of the paintings. Eventually, a man named Stephen Punt tried to figure out the legend and curse of these paintings, and his findings led him to believe that the paintings didn't burn because of how they were made. In an event caught on BBC, he found one of the paintings, lit it on fire, and it didn't burn. His explanation? the varnish of the painting acted as a fire retardant. Still, the curse lives on in the minds of many to this day, and the painting hasn't been sold in decades. And now for number six, but first, be sure to subscribe to World List and give this video a thumbs up for more videos like these. Number six, rocks from Gettysburg. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania is home to not only one of the most important events in American history, but it's also home to cursed objects. Where the battle was held in Gettysburg is now a national park, and because of that, people go there all the time. But to help truly remember the moment, people take rocks from the field, which may seem harmless, as rocks are public property in most cases. 
But the catch is when they do, things apparently go very wrong for them. Multiple cases have been reported of people taking the rocks harmlessly, only for them to suffer consequences in their lives. One man even lost his family and then later on went to jail. So why are the rocks cursed? Well, no one knows. But if these stories aren't enough to convince you, there's another thing that might grab your attention. Because if you're caught taking a rock from the battlefield, you'll be charged a $100 fine. Number 5. Bassano Vase This is the tale of a wedding gift, a vase given to a bride in northern Italy. The vase itself was made in the 15th century and was carved from pure silver, making it a very valuable gift for the bride. However, on that bride's wedding night, she died. And just before her death, she was found on the ground, clutching the vase and promising to kill the person who took her life. The vase was then passed down through the bride's family, but every single one of them met their death under unusual circumstances. Eventually, the vase was buried so that it wouldn't take anyone else's life, and it remained that way until 1988, when it was rediscovered. Adding to its legend, there was apparently a parchment with the vase, and it read, Beware. This vase brings death. Ignoring the warning, the person who found it sold it to a pharmacist, who then died three months later. That man's family sold it to a surgeon, who also died. This time, two months later, only at age 37. An archaeologist was next, and three months after he purchased the vase, a weird infection took his life. The vase bounced around a little more before ending up in the hands of the police, who sought to give it to museums. But each one knew of the curse and thus they refused to take it. Because it never popped up again, many believe that either the police or someone else buried the vase once again. Number 4. Curse of the Pharaoh Egypt is known for many things in history, but in 1923, it became known for something else entirely, a curse. Specifically, the curse of the Pharaoh, which was said to have been wrought upon the people who opened the tomb of King Tutankhamun. If you believe the stories, then you'll no doubt think that these people were killed as a punishment by the gods. After all, it is known in their mythology that it's wrong to cross a pharaoh. Impending on his burial grounds, which are very sacred in the culture, would indeed cross that line. In the decades after the opening of the tomb, which happened a year after it was found, which was in 1922, six of the 23 people present died, and some in very weird ways including blood poisoning and dying from a disease via mosquito. Naturally, this sparked the curse of the pharaoh, which spread like wildfire throughout the world and made some question opening new tombs that could have similar curses. Since then, though, level-headed people have dove into what caused these deaths and some subsequent tomb-related ones and found some interesting things. For example, there's no mention in Egyptian lore of such a curse. Warnings, yes, but no curses. Furthermore, there are beliefs that it was ancient biological pathogens that got some of these people killed. And that would make sense, as they would be preserved in the tomb, and the bodies of the archaeologists would not have proper immunity to them. Finally, it was revealed that the idea of the curse actually was put forth by one of the heads of the expedition team in order to ward off tomb raiders. Despite this proof and logic, the curse lives on, and some of the deaths haven't been fully explained, thus fueling the belief in the curse even more. Number 3. Busby Stoop Chair In the late 17th century, there was a man named Daniel Awitty, who eventually went into business with a man named Thomas Busby. One day, an argument broke out between the two. Actually, two very different ones. Awadi was mad that Busby married his daughter, while Busby was mad that Awadi sat in his favorite chair. Busby then killed Awadi, and he was arrested and sentenced to hanging for his crime. Before he died, though, he swore that anyone who sat in the chair would meet with a violent death. Following his hanging, the chair became famous, being shown off at the aptly named Busby Stoop Inn, and the owner used the fame to make money off it. However, that's where the curse really started. Many people sat in that chair, and all of them died unusual and sudden deaths. Some even claim that the kill count went up to 63 people. 
Eventually, the curse was so well known and feared that while the chair was still put on display, it was lifted five feet into the air so no one could possibly sit on it. Number 2. The Hope Diamond When it comes to cursed objects, few are as famous as the legendary Hope Diamond. Specifically, this is a blue diamond, measured to be 45 carats, and its worth is approximately $250 million. Yet if someone is asked to touch it, they promptly refuse, as just about everyone who comes into contact with the diamond either has great misfortune fall upon them or dies. This all started with the gem in its original setting, a temple in India. A Hindu priest stole the gem and was rewarded with an agonizing death. Eventually, the gem was found and made its way to Europe in 1762. There it was bought by a French merchant who would eventually sell it to King Louis XIV. That merchant was later mauled to death by dogs. Both King Louis and his wife Marie Antoinette were later beheaded. The gem was stolen during that period. It later passed on from person to person, including a potential encounter with a British king whose family had to sell the diamond to pay off his debts. Eventually, it wound up in the hands of a man named Henry Thomas Hope, which is where the diamond got its name. Several owners after him followed, and a similar tale of death and woe continued. There are many who don't believe in the curse, mainly those who have studied the history of it and feel that the details of these deaths and misfortunes don't really add up or they've been exaggerated, or are a simple case of people blaming their woes on an object, which has happened many times in history. Some even blame journalists, who were the first to note the curse in the 1800s, which no doubt helped create the true legend of the Hope Diamond. Whatever you believe, the Hope Diamond is not cursing anyone anymore, as it was donated to the Smithsonian in 1958, where it remains to this day in a glass case. Number 1. The Billy Goat Curse Go to Chicago, Illinois, and you'll find many passionate sports fans, especially those who root for the Chicago Cubs. But if you mention the Billy Goat Curse, things will get a little more awkward because whether you believe it or not, a goat cursed the Chicago Cubs, and they didn't win a World Series for over a hundred years because of it. This happened during the 1945 World Series, where tavern owner William C. Annis bought two tickets to Game 4 of the series, of which the Cubs were up by two games. He didn't go alone, though, as he brought his goat with him which was appropriate because his tavern was called the Billy Goat Tavern. Unfortunately for Cianus, the people in the stands weren't pleased with the goat, and they complained to security about the goat's smell. And Cianus was asked to leave the game and take his goat with him. What happened next is kind of up for debate, but all stories state that he said a variation of, them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. Sure enough, the Cubs lost the World Series despite being up by two games, and they didn't get back to the World Series at all until 2016, where they beat the Cleveland Indians to win the title and break the curse. While it's hard to say if the GOAT itself cursed the team, the fans certainly believed it, not the least of which is that for 71 years after the curse was put on, they did everything they could to try and break it. It should also be noted that the game that had them winning the World Series was on the 46th anniversary of Cianus' death. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these cursed objects? Can you believe the curses they invoked? Do you believe they're actually cursed? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.